What's going on, guys? I'm so glad that you're here with me for Church at Home. I'm Gary, and I've got a little question for you to get started. What game do you love to play with your family or friends? Like, are you a, into board games? Do you like video games? Maybe we got some soccer players, soccer? What about basketball? Football? Me? Dodgeball? I got the skills, but my favorite is board games, especially the ones where you get to work with your friends together like a team. It reminds me of this week's point. Good friends are loyal. Now, let's jump into Connect. Here's Tony. Believe it or not, I am not the best singer or dancer in the world. Maybe you are, or maybe you're not either. But guess what? we can still worship God with our singing and dancing. Worship isn't about how good we are, it's about how good God is. And I know that God loves it whenever we connect to Him together at church. So sing loud and dance for Him with all you've got. Let's get up on our feet and let's connect with God together. This life is a journey a path made for me with every step I take as I run this race I'm becoming the person you call me to be a child of God a life redeemed so I set my eyes on you Jesus I'm ready I'm ready
outside checking the road conditions. We're worried that the roads might be too icy for us to go home. What will we do if we can't leave? Just be happy the power isn't out. Last time we were snowed in, it was a lot chillier around here. <laughs> Tony, how's it looking out there? Were you able to drive your car? Uh, in a manner of speaking. What does that mean? Uh, well, my car uh, slid into a ditch. I think we're stuck here, guys. This should be fun. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Harper. And this is the time we learn to be loyal friends. We're really stuck here? What's gonna happen to us? Uh, don't worry about it, Jake. We'll just find something to do uh, while the storm passes. Uh, do we have any postcards? Nope, it's empty. Mm. What about transmissions? I just finished the last of them. Mm. You guys wouldn't happen to be looking for something to do during this storm, would you? Because if you are, Vanessa and I have the perfect idea. I'm up for anything. I, I created, created a Rodney and I created a game. 
but it's not just any game. It's filled with adventure, thrills, and intrigue. We call it the, the Mountains, Mountains of, of Wiltshire. Wiltshire. And we've been looking for some people to play test it with us. I really like games. And this one sounds super exciting. What do you think, Tony? Uh, I'm not much of a gamer, but oh, I mean, I don't have anything else to do right now, so yeah. Perfect. OK, we need a few minutes to set everything up. Harper and Jake, each of you will be on my team. We are the Mighty Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers? Tony and Dot, you're on my team. We are the Resolute Badgers. Sure. Vanessa and I will serve as your guides. We can help answer any questions you have, but we won't be able to help you along the challenges you face. Only by relying on each other will you be able to win the game. And remember, good friends are loyal. Before we begin, you may each choose one item from each of these boxes. Choose wisely. They will help you along your quest. A tablet? Uh, pretend that's a mirror. Very well. Are we ready to begin? Let's do it. Very well. Both teams come to a fork in a road. There, you will meet an old woman. The first to answer her question correctly will gain an advantage. Begin. I'm here to answer your question. Hey, I got here first. Oh, oh the great sky wing. I haven't seen one of its kind in many years. This allows the competitor to gain an advantage and be faster. Ha. So tell me, dearie, what is the best cure for an old woman's headache? Is it the root of a jasper tree or cloud soup? Okay, I'm completely lost. That, I think that we should ask them. The root of the jasper tree. <gasps> you are correct. Thank you for jogging my memory. As a reward, I will now take you to the mountains of Wiltshire, if that is where you would like to go. Y yeah, I mean, it's the name of the game, so yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That's where we want to go. Very well. Mighty grasshoppers, I will lead you into the forests of Devon. Ready, team? Let's go. Hey, so how did you know that the fruit from the whatever tree was the right answer? Oh, I just guessed. OK, but do you think that's the best practice? You have done well to travel this far, weary travelers. The mountains of Wilshire are not easy to climb. What's our next test? I'm ready. OK, you have to figure out a way to get into the castle of Wiltshire. You can either scale the castle walls, charter the assistance of a kindly flying horse, burrow underneath the castle, or knock on the castle's front door. OK, I think we should really talk about this one, OK? But we don't want the other team to catch up with us. I know, but we may not get as lucky this time. I think we need to ask Vanessa some questions, like, um, uh, how tall is the castle wall? How much does it cost to charter a flying horse? Uh, what burrowing tools are nearby? No way. That's going to take way too long. Mm -hmm. Vanessa! Yes, Dot? We're going to burrow under that wall. Ah, very well. You begin searching for a digging site. You stumble into one of the castle's many trap doors. Huh? What? In a split second, you dive deep down into the inky depths of the caves of Cheshire. No! So, the jungle path is easy to navigate, but filled with poisonous snakes? That is correct. And the path up the raging river is slippery, but walkable if we go slowly? That is also correct. We'll take the raging river path. Excellent. You've both done a great job of showing that good friends are loyal by listening to each other and working together. To the raging river path. Unless. Unless? Jake, you possess the daring die. If you roll a three or higher, your progress up the path will be much quicker. However, if you fail, your progress will slow to a crawl. You better be careful, Jake. I'm going to try. After all, we're a ways behind the other team. Ah, what a shame. Sorry, Harper. It's, it's OK, but we need to get going. I'm so sorry, Tony. I really messed up back there. Oh, it's okay, Dot. I mean, we didn't know about the trapdoors. But we could have. 
You wanted to ask Vanessa for help, but no. I just had to have my own way. I didn't treat you like a loyal friend. Maybe you should just leave me here. Dot, I'm not gonna leave you in the basement. <clears throat> These are the caves of Cheshire. Oh, <laughs> uh, either way, do you want to say a Bible verse with me? Is that allowed? You may proceed. Sure. It's uh, from the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 17. Here, it goes like this. Proverbs 17, 17. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend is always loyal. A friend is always loyal. And a brother is born to help in time of need. And a brother is born to help in time of need. Good friends are loyal. They forgive each other when they mess up, and they don't turn their backs on each other when things get hard. But why? Why are friends always loyal? Because Jesus is loyal to us. His love for us never changes. Right. Thanks for reminding me of that, Tony. Now, let's see if we can get out of this basement. The the cave of, of Cheshire. Caves of Cheshire. Caves, caves, okay. Jake, you have elected to scale the walls of the castle of Wiltshire. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Harper, what will you do? Uh, I'll watch Jake from right here. Jake, you begin to scale the castle wall, moving quickly stone by stone. But halfway up, your clothes are caught by the invisible thorns and vines covering the walls. You're stuck. Oh no, Harper, help. Uh, what are the chances I'll get stuck if I go up there? Nearly 50%. I'll try knocking on the castle door. But what about me? Don't worry, Jake. I'll come back for you once I win the game. You're just a little too unlucky for me to deal with right now. Harper. You knock on the castle door, and the door swings wide open. You may proceed to your final test. So, I'm in the castle, Rodney. What's my final test? You come face to face with the castle's guardian, the icy leviathan of the Cumberland Alps. It spreads its wings and flies high above your head. What do you do? Uh, I don't know. All I have is this rope. How am I supposed to defeat whatever that thing is? I have to admit, climbing up those caves was a lot easier than I thought. But we figured it out together. Mm -hmm. Jake, what are you doing up here? I tried to climb the castle wall and got stuck. My team left me here. I'm sorry, man. It's all right. The front door is the right way into the castle. You might be able to catch up if you leave now. <laughs> what are you talking about? First, we need to get you down off the wall. Don't bother. You'll probably just end up getting stuck too. I've been nothing but bad luck. Vanessa, could I use Tony's mirror as a tablet? I'll allow it. Jake, watch this Bible link from our archives with me. All right. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for Is alive. A famine came to Israel. Elimelech, Naomi, and their sons went to Moab to find food. Elimelech died. The sons married Moabite women, Orpah and Ruth. Then the sons died too. The three women had no husbands. When the famine in Israel was over, Naomi decided to go home. Stay in Moab, she said to her daughters-in-law. It's your home. Orpah stayed, but Ruth said, Wherever you go, I will go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Together, Ruth and Naomi went back to Israel. It was harvest time in Israel. Naomi told Ruth to gather the bits of grain left behind in a field. The field belonged to Boaz, Elimelech's relative. Boaz approached Ruth. You were very kind to Naomi, Boaz said. Leaving home must have been hard. May God bless you. 
he gave Ruth food and told his workers to watch over her. Ruth told Naomi what happened. Naomi smiled. When someone dies, his closest relative cares for his family. That person is their kinsman redeemer. Boaz is our kinsman redeemer. Stay close to him. So Ruth stayed close to Boaz. He liked her more each day. Boaz bought Elimelech's land and took care of Naomi and Ruth. Then he asked Ruth to marry him. Ruth had a son called Obed. Obed's son was Jesse. Jesse's son was David. And David became Israel's greatest king. So God blessed Ruth just as Boaz had prayed. Ruth could have gone home instead of staying with Naomi, but she was Naomi's friend, and friends stick together even when times are tough. Even when friends are on different teams? Even when friends are on different teams, good friends are loyal. So, how are we gonna get Jake down? I don't think the great sky wing will be much help. Hmm. Oh, I know. Um, we can use the reflection in the mirror and we can see the invisible vines and thorns that are holding Jake and we can help Jake free himself. While that's not the typical use of the sea glass mirror, it is a solution I will allow. Really? Tony, you did it! Jake will have you down in no time. Harper, are you all right? Jake, Jake, I'm so sorry I left you behind. I thought I could do it on my own, but I can't. I was a bad friend. Will you forgive me? Of course. Hey, why are we hiding behind the console? Because there's a Leviathan flying overhead. What are we gonna do? Well, I have this rope I could use to tie the Leviathan up, but I can't reach it as long as it's flying. Vanessa, what would happen if I rolled the daring die right now? Ah, there's a 33% chance the Leviathan would fall asleep, but you'd have to roll a one or a six. I'm not sure I should chance it. It might just make things worse. The Leviathan of the Cumberland Alps spots the castle's intruders. If it does, we'll figure out another way, because we're a team. comes crashing down to the castle floor. Oh, Harper, don't forget your rope. Right, I used the rope to tie the Leviathan in place. You've defeated the Leviathan and restored peace to the mountains of Wiltshire. Congratulations, you guys, you did it. I can't believe that worked. Rodney, Vanessa, that game was amazing. Thanks. We're so glad you liked it. And we couldn't have beaten it without our loyal friends. Hi, I'm Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. I have a verse to share with you. Say it with me like this. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend is always loyal, and a brother is born to help in time of need. Good friends don't turn their back on you and are always there for you when you need it. When Ruth and Naomi's husbands died, Ruth could have returned home to her parents, but she didn't. She was a loyal friend and stayed with Naomi even when times were tough. Look for ways to be there for your friends. If they're sad or upset, listen to them. If bad things are happening to them, be there for them. If they've made a mistake or hurt your feelings, forgive them. We can be loyal friends because Jesus is a loyal friend to us. He gave us the best example to follow. Don't ever forget, good friends are loyal. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. So who had the original idea for the game? I, I did. did. <laughs> Uh, Vanessa, you know the mountains of Wiltshire was my idea. Um, maybe that one tiny part creating the world of the game, but the gameplay was something I created. The gameplay, but that doesn't mean it was your idea. Well, creating the world of the game doesn't mean it was yours either. You guys? Grasshoppers, come with me. Oh, that's how it is? Badgers, you're with me. What's going on? Are you two fighting? Yes! yes. How do you make a lasso? Where's the end of it? Hold on. 
I'm not sure I'm doing this right. Sometimes we all feel lonely, but no matter what, Jesus will always be here for you. He's the most loyal friend you could ask for. If you want to be friends with Jesus, you can make that choice today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that decision today? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Those ABCs remind me just how good God is. He gave us the best gift ever, His Son, Jesus. Talk with a parent or a leader you trust when you're ready to follow Him. You can pray together and then celebrate your forever friendship with Jesus. Jesus will always be there for you. He's loyal and He can help you be a loyal friend too. Let's say the Bible verse we learned about that. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. A friend is always loyal and a brother is born to help in time of need. Fantastic job. Godly friends are loyal. Being loyal means you're there for your friends no matter what. Loyalty might take teamwork or make things harder, but loyalty can be fun too. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a challenge. Make up a handshake, but here's the catch. You have to make it up all by yourself to do it with yourself. I'll do it too. Ready? Go. All right, so obviously high five, yep. And then we could like roll it and pull back. And then I could like bird and, and then I feel like I'm just fanning my face. Like, that's right. and then I can, oh! Okay, well that wasn't very fun. Um, here's where loyalty comes in. Find someone else that you could work together with to come up with a super awesome, spectacular, monumental handshake. It'll be so much better. I need some help with that. Could I get some help, please? Oh, hey, Frank. All right, what are we gonna do? Got it. A double bubble, elbow bump, shimmy shimmy, elbow lock, flip flop, buddy cop. Ready? <laughs> yes, now that is what I call a handshake. <laughs> Working together is a part of loyalty, and it's a great way to show God's love to your friends. In the Bible, God shows us how to be good friends. Check out the Bible plan, I Can Be a Friend, in the YouVersion Bible app, or click on the link in the description. Now, I'm gonna head out, but there's still more fun for you. Stick around to talk with your family about loyalty, what a loyal friend is like, and how God is loyal to us. Stay tuned for the cues, and I will see you guys later.